So on the screen, I have a, a description of a scenario and a question. And this is part of a workbook, order fulfillment workbook, uh, that has data that I'll be analyzing to answer the question. So the scenario is as follows. A car parts manufacturer has been receiving multiple complaints from its main customer, an automaker, regarding part delivery. The car parts manufacturer decides to collect data about satisfaction with car part delivery based on four possible predictor variables that, that the, the uh, employees and the management of the car, part, car parts manufacturer uh, believe based on their knowledge of their customers uh, is affecting uh, satisfaction with car part delivery. Car parts manufacturer would be a company that would provide, would develop, uh, say, or manufacture uh, exhaust pipes. That, that was the uh, original uh, basis for this data set, an exhaust pipe uh, manufacturer, but they can manufacture tires and, and, and other uh, parts that are then shipped to their customers, which are the automakers. And uh, automakers then use their parts to assemble cars. At the time of the creation of this video, uh, Typically, automakers, large automakers like GM, Ford, etc., do not manufacture many of the parts that go in their cars. They outsource car part manufacturing. So, question What is the order of importance of the predictors with respect to satisfaction with car part delivery? And the variables that I have are packaging or the quality of the the packaging of the car parts as perceived by the automaker on a one to seven scale. Uh, one being poor uh, quality of packaging, seven being very high quality packaging. The courtesy of the delivery as perceived by the automaker on a one to seven scale. The freight cost measured in dollars. How late the delivery is measured in days. And the satisfaction with the delivery as perceived by the automaker on a one to seven scale. And the data is here. So we have quality of the packaging, courtesy, uh, cost measured in dollars, uh, Late is uh, how late the delivery is measured in days. So if there is any negative number here, it's, it's because the uh, delivery was made ahead of time. So this one, two days early, that's minus two. And satisfaction. So often, often there is late delivery. And satisfaction is our main uh, dependent variable of interest. So I will uh, create a project file to store my data and the results of my analysis, and I'll create it under my downloads area, which is where the data set uh, is as well. So I will just enter a statistic so that I can see all the, the files there. So I have here order fulfillment data. That's the data set that I'm going to be using for this analysis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call my project file uh, the same name as data set. Save. Now I will read my data set and I can read uh, data from an open file. That's not a problem. Uh, so let me see. That is, this is the data set. So as you can see, it's open. This is why I have these two entries here. Uh, that's not a problem. So I'll click on it and I will open it. And I'll wait for the import wizard to show up. So when the import wizard shows up, I just have to click on next and finish. 
So here's my data set. The data seems correct. So click yes. Now I'll pre-process my data. So this step usually uh, imputes missing values, and but there was none. So I'll click OK. This is my standardized data. Uh, so I'll click Yes. Uh, now I will create my model. So I create my main. Uh, main dependent variable I'll just use the names of the indicators so I'll create my main dependent variable that is satisfaction my main or my main criterion variable and then quality of packaging so this is uh, this data set it refers to and, and a car parts manufacturing, delivering uh, car parts to an automaker. And then the, the person that is perceiving, like for example, the person that is perceiving courtesy is the uh, receiving, is in the receiving department of the automaker. Usually goes into a warehouse and then the parts are used later in the assembly process. The cost of the freight and and the lateness of the delivery. So let's see what I have. So I'll just put these variables one next to the other. And I'll make them all point at satisfaction because I believe that they cause satisfaction. So my main task in this analysis is to answer the question, which are the predictors that influence uh, the main criterion variable, which is satisfaction, which are the predictors that influence it the most? I will centralize my model graph. At this point, often is useful to show high indicators so that I can make sure that I have the right indicators. Uh, and I, it, it looks like they are all correct. So I will save the model and close. So one thing that I will do here is for the inner model analysis algorithms, I will change them to linear because uh, I want uh, these uh, these uh, the path coefficients associated with the links to be, uh, I, I'm assuming they are linear, not nonlinear. And I will choose uh, as my outer model analysis algorithm, I will choose robust path analysis, which is the simplest algorithm because I have single indicators here. So I'm measuring each latent variable through a single indicator. So these are not technically latent variables. Latent variables usually aggregate more than one indicator, more than one column in the data set. In this case, it's just one. So this is more like a multiple regression model, uh, which I am modeling here using a structure equation modeling software. So I'll proceed to step five. And here I have my results. So what are the most important? Um, uh, so my main questions, my main question that I'm trying to answer is, what is the order of importance of the predictors with respect to satisfaction? Now, let's see. First, let's see if they are important, all of them. And they, in, in fact, they are because all the p-values are lower than 0 0.05 which is what which is my threshold for statistical significance and, re, and real importance now after that the most important are the ones with the larger 
absolute path coefficient, whether it's negative or positive, the absolute value is what matters. So the most important is courtesy. So more courtesy, higher courtesy, more satisfaction because it's positive. Then the second most important is lateness. So the lower the lateness, the more satisfaction. This is why it's negative. The third more impo most important is freight cost. So the higher the freight cost, the lower the satisfaction, or the lower the cost, the higher the satisfaction. And this is why it's negative. And quality of the packaging is the fourth most important. So, and this is because of the absolute values. At this point, it's very important that I check uh, in, in any model like this, whether all variables are measuring the, uh, the, the different things. So I want to check whether collinearity levels are uh, low enough that I can assume that these variables measure different things because it's possible that the respondents of the questionnaire will see uh, questions associated with different LVs as the same and then the, their answers will be so highly correlated that I will have collinearity in the model and, the col and too high a collinearity uh, would distort these path coefficients. So none of the conclusions that I just uh, drew from the, these path coefficients would be valid because they could be very distorted. So the way I check for collinearity is I go to view, uh, latent variable coefficients, and I look at these full collinearity variance inflation factors or full collinearity VIFs. I look at these numbers. And this model has little collinearity, has low levels of collinearity because all of these numbers are lower than 3.3. Uh, borderline high collinearity would be 5. So if any of these uh, were greater than, uh, I'm sorry, borderline collinearity would be 3.3 uh, or higher. Uh, and that would be uh, um, if any of these numbers were was greater than 3.3. Um, borderline high would be uh, if any of these numbers was greater than 5. And absolute collinearity or guaranteed collinearity to the point that would distort those path coefficients would be if any of these numbers was greater than 10. So as we can see, they're all greater, uh, they're all lower than 3.3, so it's very low collinearity in this model. So therefore, I can trust that all of the variables were perceived by the respondents as referring to different concepts. So I can trust my results. Now look at how interesting these results are. So courtesy uh, affects satisfaction the most. So if I am the, the CEO of, a car part, part of the car parts manufacturer that got this analysis done, I would invest in increasing courtesy to affect satisfaction. And uh, this could be done through training and uh, it's a relatively low cost way of uh, improving satisfaction. Lateness in delivery is a different story. So this, uh, if the car, part manuf car parts manufacturer is contracting with a trucking company, for example, to deliver the parts, uh, it may be difficult to modify that, but one could try to make the deliveries um, uh, more on time and that would affect satisfaction as well, but not as much as courtesy. Now, the cost of the freight is not such a big deal, so it's almost half as important as lateness and is, is uh, less than half of uh, courtesy in terms of its importance. So cost is not such a big deal. So the, the car parts manufacturer could perhaps offer to trucking company a, a little bit higher pay um, 
to reduce lateness and the cost would be a bit higher but since cost is not as important in terms of satisfaction as lateness they uh, that would pay off in terms of satisfaction and quality of the packaging is the least important now this may not be because quality of the packaging is not as important but it may be that quality of the packaging is already good and uh, doesn't very much so it does not have a major impact on satisfaction it, and in some cases if you have little variation in one variable it doesn't influence the main dependent variable as much this essentially means in this case that for this company there isn't much to do in terms of packaging but if i had more variation in quality of packaging i could see a bigger number here and that would mean that for this company they would have to act on uh, improving uh, packaging right now what seems like the most important thing to address is courtesy based on this analysis and so this concludes this demo on how to analyze uh, this uh, order fulfillment data set and answer the question what is the order of importance of the predictors with respect to satisfaction uh, with car part delivery